G'day, 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 it's Sam from a bit of your vinyl. It's record store day week, which is very exciting, but I thought that um, maybe we let you know what happens this week, because we don't really know. So, like a little video diary or something. Anyway, uh, we're very excited, but we also, we've never done one before, so we're a little anxious. We don't know exactly what we're getting yet, and people are really keen to know, especially like Taylor um, and Bluey. Everybody wants Bluey. Anyway, very excited, but the day starts with toast. All right, second update. We just got some confirmation of some of the stuff we're getting in, and I'm very excited. So hopefully it's here by Friday, because you know how that all works. Um, but yeah, putting stuff up soon. Exciting, it'll be a good day. Coming up the stairs, we've got this whole section up here that we don't use very much because it's not super accessible because the stairs are quite steep. But there is some cool stuff up here that's not just empty boxes. And I'm gonna show you guys. So record store today, we've got a bunch of exclusives happening. But one thing that we're really, really excited about is Audio Technica are doing this new thing called Go Green Initiative, where they're trying to get rid of some refurb stock for like super cheap. So we've got a bunch of these. LP60s that are super working condition. They come with a warranty. We love these as a, like a starting. I had one of these for about five years. Paul had one for a similar amount of time. They're just so good. And it means people can sell this in records for like 150 bucks. Anyway, we're gonna have a ton of those available on record store day. And we're thinking as well, doing the classic pole pack with the edifier speakers, refurbed LP60 for 299. Hey, Paul. Hey, Sam. Just so you know, I'm recording this meeting. <laughs> talking for training about purposes. For training and quality purposes, yeah. Um, so we're talking record store day, trying to figure out how to display all the stock in our little shop. I don't like the chaos of record store day. I want to make it easy for people to get what they want. Yeah. And... We know that stuff is limited, which makes it difficult. Yes. Um, it needs to be clear where things are. I don't want somebody going to the crates and somebody coming at the counter and one gets it because they've gone to the wrong place first and the other one doesn't. Yeah, that's not ideal. Um, so maybe we have some things at the counter, some things at, in the crates. It's funny because we're having all this conversation and we have none of the things yet. Like nothing's arrived yet and we're like where are we going to put all this stuff we're going to sell and yeah. it's all in transit yeah fuck <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and like I, I feel for some of the other stores as well like they're putting on like acts and stuff like all the live acts that are happening like so much and then like people like tackling each other over Taylor Swift yeah yeah, people are going to be shattered when they know they can just watch it on Disney Plus for free. <laughs> so what do we got? We we know we're getting 10 Taylors. Hopefully we get some more, but that's not going to be enough. That's the number one thing that people have asked for. Easily. Here's another thing. So when we opened a year ago, yeah. and there were like people milling outside, but it was like a general kind of milling. I expect something similar. Yeah. And these people have a vested interest in being through the doors first. Yeah. Do we have to, like, do a line? Do we get people to line up? Fuck. Yeah, probably. Because I remember seeing, like, videos of some of the stores last year in the city, and they all had lines. Yeah, I think maybe we need to be prepared for a, for a line. Yeah. And then, Probably yeah. Velvet if... ropes upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> How, how much are um <laughs> a velvet rope? Um, what are they called? Does Bolines. Amazon deliver velvet ropes quickly? They're going to be shattered if there's no line. <laughs> we just did five minutes. On line. <laughs> yeah, all the people we've spoken to have gone. Fuck this. Let's go to Melbourne, where we've got five yeah, stores yeah. close together. 
So yeah, so we've mentioned it because we're on the Instas. Some of those stores are going to be pissed at a couple of the stores on Instagram. We're just like out there, like, what's an embargo? And just posting yeah. how much of copies of things I have. Yeah. Because they've circumvented local distribution. Yeah. It's the not most the sp- wonderful time of the year. Yeah, it's not the spirit of the day. No. I like I like what um Sound Merch have done. Um they've been yeah. really good about it. Um like being like, here's all the other stores you can go to close to us. Obviously start here. Yep, that's fine. You're allowed to say that. And then go to this store, then this store, then this store. And they're in Brunswick or something, so there's yeah. like eight stores within like a five hundred meter walk. Yeah, you throw a rocky at a vinyl store. Which makes it like it's such an interesting position for us as like one of the few regional stores participating. Yeah. Like there's yeah, there's people that can go to Melbourne and go to eight stores. But like there might be people that are, you know, from Mildura coming to us. <laughs> and like, imagine they drive all the way to us and then we sell out of Taylor. <laughs> yeah. Like, which is why we're sorry at 10 a.m. and not eight or eight thirty like some of these other stores in Melbourne are doing. Um, that's crazy to give the regional kids a chance, and so I don't have to get out of bed straight after a trash coat gig. Uh, Man, it would be hilarious if we wander into work coffee at like eight thirty, nine o'clock to get set up, and there's people already outside. Fuck, be like, what are you doing? It's a Bendigo winter. Yeah. Yeah, out of your goddamn mind. Yeah. Out of orders. Open. Just bring a space heater out for them. Yeah. <laughs> like when people like, get sprayed with water at festivals because they're too hot. The, the opposite. Yeah. But the Bendigo version of that. Uh... <laughs> All right. Um... And this morning, no ballpark, we found out. Sucks. Yeah. I was we were talking yesterday and I really think that it's right that like this is our first one and it's a frog in boiling water style situation where if you've been doing record store day forever and you remember when it was a rigid didge yeah about the independent stores and the, it was mostly indie labels doing small releases and stuff and then it's slowly been amped up until it's completely taken over by the biggest yeah, selling artist, Pearl Jam. Yeah, but like, and then like the whole the day is about that. Yeah, That's interesting. And then we're like straight into it, going, okay, this could be run better. Yeah, because this is a shit show. Like, you don't know what you're getting. You don't know when you're getting it. You yeah. don't know where it's come from. You got other stores that have gone, fuck this. We're getting it from X, Y, and Z instead of through Record Store Day Australia. Yeah, which just makes yeah. it such a uneven playing field, which isn't good for the person that wants to buy the cool record. No. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was thinking about that as well, like even with the Audio Technica stuff we did, which I posted last night, was that, you know, yeah, yeah. a lot of us doing this thing was about trying to make it easy for people to... To get get the one. And like, it's why we don't do so much second hand is because we're like, it doesn't matter if you've got an original or like, that doesn't mean anything <laughs> um, at all. Like, yeah. It just, it, it needs to be easy and equitable and accessible. And yeah, this all started when records weren't accessible and there wasn't huge demand and there wasn't, um, huge capacity to print stuff but like we're getting there it should be should be easier but you know yeah capitalism shit so yeah anyway what was us business owners yeah coming up to the biggest day of the year for us but it's just all well, it yeah, it's, it's just it weird it's just like an uncomfortable like kind of weirdness about it all it's just very like it's obviously good for independent record stores but i don't know it just feels like we have to like it's it's funny because you see so many like we're competing with big box places like JB or I guess Walmart in the states or whoever like yeah. indies like with Amazon yeah um, they're the enemy it's not each other 
Like, I think there's a real, like, we've only experienced camaraderie. And, like, we haven't yeah. been in the game super long. And all we've been is absolutely embraced by other independent stores. Victoria yeah. and South Wales and Queensland and everywhere. WA. And, um, but, yeah, it really feels like we just, for one day, in the lead up to one day, we just, like, they put us in the middle of a pit. Yeah. And we just, like, like they put, like, the deft tones on and they, like, run at each other. And it's just, like, a bash pit. Yeah, of just mayhem. And yeah, you're like, I don't know this. This doesn't seem right. Yeah, and we're all competing over who can get the most <laughs> Swift in. It's yeah, crazy. Which is really what's happening. Everything else is not everything else. We've still got super limited copies, but you know it's fine. I think it's particularly stressful because like we want people to get what they want. Yeah. I know. Last when we had the second drop last year. Um, which was a much smaller day, nowhere near as big and busy and hyped and stuff. But, like, you know, there was heaps of stock left over. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, yeah, so I was saying, hey, we've stuff's got not 10 either. copies of like, Taylor not... Swift. That might be enough. Probably yeah. won't be. And that might last to midday, or it might last to half past 10. Or it might last to 5 o'clock. I don't know. We have no idea how busy we're going to be, and we're getting no idea the spread of people and what they're going to want. That stuff's not cheap either. Like, we're getting these order forms, and it's like, man, like some of those you're like, you're carrying a lot. Like, yeah. And then if it doesn't sell, you're like holding on to, like, we've still got that Emerson Lake and Palmer picture disc from last year. Yeah. No one's buying ALP out here, so we're just like kind of carrying that. Yeah. Which is, you know, how many dollars down the, not the drain, but like, because it's stock and someone might buy it, but yeah. 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 Like, it's a risk us getting all yeah, this. Yeah. What if people in. aren't as interested in that? Like, Bjork. Yeah. Dirty printers, 12 inches. You think they are, you know? Maybe that's why it's good that there are like tailors, for example, where you like that's as good as a yeah cash check. Yeah, but most of the stuff in the crates, a couple of the items that we know will be big ticket. We need to control like cigarettes behind the yeah behind the counter. Yeah, yeah, or class A drugs. Yeah, um, yeah. Do so we... weekend, Louis Taylor. And we just have to figure out some sign and be like, if you're after these particular RSD titles, talk counter. to us at the counter. Yeah. Yeah. And then we just cross it out once we're sold out. Like once Taylor's yep. gone, we just. Yeah. Taylor Swift sold out. <laughs> yeah. Sold out. Green yeah. or different colored stickers on the RSD stock, so it's easy to find in the crates. Yeah. Have everything in our inventory ready to go, but not online so that we don't incur the wrath of the record store day gods. Yeah. And have a great day. Yeah. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be fun. It is gonna be fun. Yeah. But yeah. You know what this is like on a larger scale? It's like planning so people say you you have Christmas as a kid and then Christmas is pretty good until you have kids. Right? But yeah. then like that Christmas for the kids is like incredibly stressful for the period until Christmas and then you have a great time. Yeah. Because they open all the presents and that sort of thing. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like it's that. Like it's it, like a really stressful such, month. And it's then... such a good example. I remember <laughs> being around at my mum's one Christmas, uh, and like I can't remember how old I was, but like Claire and Matthew were still like kids and they yeah, got yeah. like a trampoline and then me and Ian were like setting up a trampoline with a drum buoy at like one o'clock in the morning after everybody <laughs> went to bed. <laughs> And that that's what just half card like. on scotch with a Allen key. Yeah. Putting <laughs> springs together. I love it. In the dark with just like the little porch lamp light on. Oh god. This is before the iPhone like torch, right? Yeah. Yeah. I remember they told me of our phones. And it was like, yeah, we've got a torch. And what it was was it would just go to a white screen with the brightness up full and then <laughs> Well, that's 
you get them on the, the, I the iPhone now, and it's where is it? Where are we? Torch. That's just it. <laughs> I've got different modes though. It, it flashes. Oh, strobes. <laughs> Whacked on on at the trash oh, Color. Hey, that's so cool. And I'm happy maybe saying to people, cool, you can grab this and then keep having a look if you want, but you, you've, you've got it. And then you come yep. to the counter and buy it. Yep. Yeah, yep. hold on to it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yep. And then preferably we see them fight. Yeah. Another... <laughs> customer yeah that's what we want yeah yeah like you'll get a copy if you're in really early or you've got like a wicked backhand on you <laughs> <laughs> he came in at four o'clock but he's got a good jab yeah <laughs> crack yeah Polish club <sighs> left 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 right yeah yeah all right oh another thing i was thinking right we got so audio technical. Hopefully Will Smith doesn't show up. Heard. What was that? Hopefully Will Smith doesn't show up. Walks away with ten <laughs> copies of Taylor Swift. <laughs> I've done the same thing. <laughs> so we just had a win. So we just found out that we're getting twenty copies all up of the long pond sessions where Taylor went to her mate's barn and recorded a bunch of music. Paul's very excited. So excited. He's body wrapped. Anyway, it's a good start. Sorry, he was just doing a big dance there. And he keeps stopping whenever I turn the camera around. Do the dance. Do the goddamn dance. <laughs> hey, it's Sam. Uh, it's Wednesday uh, the 19th. Um, we normally are open Wednesday to Saturday, so this is the first day the shop's open for the week. And we have a lot of strengths as a business. Riding on a chalkboard is not one of them. Uh, that's the best I could do at the moment on one coffee. Um, anyway, this Saturday, 22nd of April. I'm very excited. I think, I think we think that everyone knows because it's all we've been thinking about. But um, some people don't know. So... Hopefully this great chalkboard will let them know. Another thing, um, Paul told me about this apparently on Saturday. There were some customers in. I'm sure they were lovely people. And they're like, they were playing around with the turntables, which you probably shouldn't do in a turntable store unless you know what you're doing. And um, yeah, they proper fucked up the stylus. Look at that. Like that. That's proper mounted. That's in mono now. So, um, luckily that's not the one we use most of the time and because it's Audio Technica, it's easy to replace, but. Woo hoo hoo. Check out that. That is, that is fucked. And they're like, no, we didn't touch it. I'm like, well, how did that happen? Anyway, if you ever go to a record store, don't touch the stylus. And if you're at home, don't touch your stylus. Unless you're cleaning it. Anyway, happy Wednesday. So we just got our first shipment of stuff for Record Store Day, which is exciting because we've been waiting for that. Um, anyway, this is it. So that's cool. And probably a ton of other stuff as well. So. We're full steam ahead. And so Paul just sent me a um, a reel by another store, and that to prepare for record store day, they just closed for the next week, essentially, for the next three or four days. They just closed. I didn't know that was an option. I didn't know you could just close your store so that you could put a couple of records out. Is that like our job? Hey, so we're going widescreen now. It's Thursday night. What is it, 1020, Paul? Yeah, something like that. Yeah, Paul's here. Funny. Hello. And there's still a ton of prep to go, but this everything's thing's... inventoried, right? Yeah, it's in, we just need to make sure we've counted all the copies correctly, which I hope we have. We got more Taylor today, that was exciting. Which is, yeah, even more Taylor, which apparently is necessary. Yeah. And Bluey. 
Yeah, more bluey. More bluey. Because that's maybe the second most requested album. Yeah. We've got a list of what are like the cigarettes we're keeping behind the counter. And it's Taylor, Bluey, The Weeknd. Pearl Jam? Pearl Jam. Yeah. Yeah. But then we also got a bunch of other stuff that wasn't Record Store Day, which I'd forgotten about because it wasn't Record Store Day related. And it's it's, it's all really good too. <laughs> like Elephant. Like Elephant's 20th anniversary gets released. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. In like a couple of hours. And there's a bunch of them in the shop. Very exciting. Super. But it's Thursday and we're already exhausted, so it's a good... Maybe we should shut the shop pole, what do you think? <laughs> Sorry, I've got Manhattan. We're good. He's got a Manhattan. Cheers. I gave up drinking a few months ago. I don't know if that was a good idea. Well, there's still time. <laughs> it's Friday morning. What's the time? Is it still morning, Paul? It is quarter to 12, Sam. Don't look, but there's Paul. Quarter to 12. Have quarter to 12. And um, it's the calm before the storm. Um, so we're in the shop. Mike is fixing price stickers. I am fixing them so well. Um, we've got all the boxes of Rokeld Store day stuff. And that goes in racks tonight and prep for tomorrow. Um, last time we did this poll, we were like, oh yeah, we could get it done tonight. And then it was really late. It was really late. <laughs> it was so late. And it, it took us forever. And then we came in in the morning, we're like, we'll do it in the morning. And then we hardly got to the record fair on time. Yeah. And then that was, oh yeah, that was a record fair. And there weren't, I don't even think there was as many things. No, nah, there's a lot of titles. Anyway, they're all in the machine, so that helps. And I'm bad with the camera angles today. And I think it's her fault. Because she never sleeps. Um, anyway. That's Thursday morning. It does feel like the eye of the storm. Maybe we should close for the day. What do you think, Paul? <laughs> Closing's not very rock and roll. Stay open, sleep in the van. That's right, certain record store in Footscray. Stay open, mate. So, shop's like closed. We'll be opening again tomorrow for record store day, obviously. One thing that I found hilarious this week is you can Instagram about what you have. You can have an article that's literally on the landing page of the website. People will still use that website's live chat to ask you whether you have stuff in rather than just going to the article and checking to see if you have those titles. Um, yeah, people lazy. Some people. Um, most people are good. Yeah. But man, the amount of times we've just been asked, Ash, we're like, do you have this? Do you have that? Do you go to the page. There's a page. That's why we have the page. Because there's going to be like 60, 70 titles. We, don't, we can't hold that all in our head. That's why there's a page. Go to the page. So, night before, as we walk past the enemy, so Hargrave Street, Friday night before record store day. Not a creature was stirring, except for who I'm told is Paul. He's getting all the stock ready. Put stickers on things, probably drinking, because we're in the music industry. Sometimes you've got to have a beer, especially if you have to work this late. All right, let's check in on him. Well, here he is. stuff away hiding stuff in the crates what have we got there Paul? some Swedish house mafia how cool is that? do I fit in? man that's it's been so a long cool day. that's a very long day we've uh, got little the... RSD stickers on stuff so, yeah that's cool so you know because this one doesn't say anywhere because oh, a lot of them have that sticker on it right? So a lot of the RSD Australia stuff apparently has stickers, but the international RSD stuff doesn't. So big old packet of stickers. So some of them have that. Some of them, Paul, put some of these on. So, but I don't know. 
I reckon Paul's sick of working. Do you want to go to Trash Cult? Yeah, fuck it. Let's go to Trash Cult. <laughs> so Paul's run back to the shop because he needs to be fueled. What have you got there, Paul? Leftover, leftover pizza from last night. <laughs> Fuel of champions. You know what? I'm going to leave a slice for breakfast. <laughs> So we're back from Trash Cult. And we got McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. McChicken. Burgers. But Paul's on the waters. Cause he's smart. Cause it's a big day tomorrow. Anyway, more tomorrow. Man, it would be hilarious if we wander into work coffee at like 8.30, 9 o'clock to get set up. And there's people already outside. So there's a bit of a queue already. It's like nine o'clock, Paul. Yeah, it's not even nine o'clock. So like these people are keen. Keen as beans. Uh, I'm here with the queue. Uh, when were you here? I was here at like seven. Seven o'clock. Yeah. And what are you after? The weekend. The weekend. Just praying to God. <laughs> Just pray to Every, everyone else is a pretty close to this. Like, what, what else is everybody else after? Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. You know you can get it for free on Disney Plus, right? Yeah. <laughs> they drove three hours. Three hours. We only drove an hour and a half. Wow. Three hours for Taylor. Taylor, man, your fans are nuts. <laughs> Just going to office works for some late supplies. I slipped out past the line. Um, Man, I'm excited. Look, it might be the like three shots of coffee I've already had. There's another two in here. But like, man, I'm pumped. I'm really excited. This should be good. I'm so nervous we're gonna run out of Taylor in the first 10 minutes. I don't wanna say we'll run out of Taylor. Eight hours of sorry, no Taylor. Man, that's no. gonna be rough because some of these fans have driven a long way, Paul. They have. Somebody who's driven three hours to get here. Um, yeah. But like, they do live in Golden Square, they're just bad at driving. Uh, it's first gear the whole way, but yeah, still rough. So we're running White Stripes because if it wasn't for Jack White, I don't know if we'd have a record store day. He almost single-handedly kept vinyl alive, so thanks Jack. Taylor as well? Yes. So, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Am I paying cash or is that Yeah, okay? that's yeah. totally What cool. is cash? I know. Right? No, that's, that's no, right. No, you're paying cash, I mean, they get it for free. <laughs> <laughs> cash is free.
you want to grab something else, you free turn back. But yeah, sorry about the run out allocation. We had some people here at like 6.30, which was crazy. Um, but yes, there's plenty of lots of other cool stuff in and around that ask if you're an after. So it's 11.28 and the line has just stopped at the counter. Holy is proper exhausted. That's, we haven't seen a blank counter for a while. Oh, and there's someone here. It's Dave. Um, it's been mental and um, fantastic and um, very exciting and stressful, it was great. No more Bluey, no more Pearl Jam, no more Taylor. Taylor was gone in like 20 minutes. Crazy, 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 crazy. I think we just got what's going on. Yeah. So record store day, it's still going. It's 2 p.m. And um, there's an alien here now for Misty Park's video shoot. Um, this is a standard record store day in Bendigo. Come on. So it's four or six bowl, and there's no one in the shop for the first time. All day. Um, it's been mental. Absolutely mental. It's been um, a week's worth of people. No, the, the amount of individual transactions today has been the same amount that we normally get a week. So is it worth all the OT we did during the week and prepping and that sort of thing? Probably, definitely. Nah. No. <laughs> um... Yeah, we're proper exhausted though. Yeah, oh yeah, I'm tired. But, after party at Handlebar? Yeah, I'm going to Handlebar. Paul's on the full strengths already. And always on brand. Oh, always. Um, I had people buying like turntables and stuff. To play the new records on. Yeah, some nice ones too. Check out the turntable packs. Oh my. Yeah. <laughs> always be closing. <laughs> Oh, Paul's delirious. Anyway, we're going to listen to Dear Seattle very loud. <sighs> so that's a wrap. That's record store day. We're exhausted. We're closed. Hey, look, it's Paul. He's Hi. exhausted. Kira is here. Connor's here as well. Where's Connor? <laughs> Connor's there. Um, we're exhausted, aren't we, Ash? Hey, hey Sam. Yeah? Did you know that there's a beer under a handlebar for the bar? <laughs> <laughs> so we're at Handlebar and it's the end of Record Store Day, Paul. <laughs> yes, it is. Having a couple of brewskis. Whiskies with some of our favorite regulars. And my daughter and my wife. Hey, I'm a favorite regular. She is. Ash is a regular. Ash is a too regular, if you ask me. <laughs> she shits a lot. Anyway, <laughs> what a day. What a day, Paul. What a day. It, it's been absolutely out of control. I'll tell you something for free. So you know what? Record Store Day. Love it. It's been good fun. People got a bunch of cool shit. What I don't think is when it's half an hour after stores have closed and there's people that have got a bar, let's say Taylor Swift, and are now trying to sell it online for more. Scum. Yeah, it's not good for retailers. It's not good for the artists. It's just... You're a dick. Also, Sam made Kyria, who you just seen with little baby Ash, queue up and pay full price for No play. special treatment. No. And she's reselling it now. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, to all you human trash and discogs. Hey Paul, so it's Monday morning, 10.49 a.m. You've had a coffee? <laughs> yes, I'm yes. gonna have another seven.
Yeah. So the online stuff's been up. So like what we had left over from Saturday has been online for like, I don't know, an hour or two hours. Yeah. And like a lot of it's gone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's gone. The Groove Armada, which I was expecting to go on the day, went like mm. went like this. Yeah. Swedish uh, House Mafia. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of the stuff. Because I guess people would just like, if they missed out at one of the other stores, they don't care where they get it from if it gets shipped. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm interested to see. Um, so obviously this is our first proper record store day. Um, and we were involved in the second drop last year, which was quite small. Mm. Um, and probably not quite as many big titles. No. Pearl Jam were in there still. There's a few other big ones. Uh, there's a Prince one. Um, but there was, it was reasonably easy to get some of those releases like the following week back in again. Yeah. Um, but I'm not sure if it's going to be like that this no. time. So I've told people to, you know, keep an eye on our socials and sign up to our email list and stuff like that, um, just in case. Um, if they yeah, we're sending out a newsletter this today as well, aren't we? Yeah. yeah. Our first newsletter. Yep. The Monday after record store day. <laughs> It'll have this video diary, a link to it in it. It'll yep. have. We've got some in stores coming up. Yep. We've got. Yeah, we need to get record here, Tonti. Yep. Um, yeah, I think she's good to go. I think that's good. Yeah, sick. Um, Lloyd hasn't gotten back to me yet, but that's okay. Um, he's playing in Castle, Maine, I think, in May. I saw go up on his Insta. Cat. There's a pretty cat. Um, Bilbo Beggins. Man, main, char- main character energy from the cat this morning. Yeah, <laughs> massive main character energy. This, he's just been having a nap. Just decided he's just sniffing the laptop now. It's Sam. <laughs> But he's not actually here. No, Coffee. he's never actually there. He's always on the laptop. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Bill. Uh, so <laughs> Live and uncut. <laughs> so we saw um, a bunch of stuff from the other record stores. It looked like everybody did quite well. Yeah. On Saturday. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah there was a good amount of Taylor Swift, apparently. Well, I'd yeah. say a good amount, like... Yeah, there, there was an amount. We could have had more, but yeah. I think maybe, yeah, that's my learning, I think, for next year. Like with our first Christmas here as well, like yeah. being a little less tentative and backing ourselves and trusting. It's hard, particularly with, like, you know, some of these other stores have been established. They've done it for a while. Um, You know, they've got, yeah, really established presences and they know what's going on. And they've been in business for a while, so they've got, like, they can afford to buy things. Yeah. I yeah. guess, you know, like, we, we bought what we could afford to buy yeah. and pay the bill for. Um, and unfortunately, sometimes that's less. Though I know, like, some of the other, like, there was some big, big stores that had some big, 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 big orders. But there was a couple of other Brunswicky stores and stuff that were pretty similar numbers to us. Yeah. It'll be a bigger deal next year. Hopefully we'll be in the bigger shop by then. Yeah, and then we can do some of those like in stores or have someone play outside or um, some of the other stuff, barbecue things yeah. that some of the other stores were doing. Um, yeah. Get one of those queues. I got yeah, we had such a great queue, and there's it was so cool to see pictures and see all our, like regulars and new people and people that drove from far away because so many people came from different parts of regional Vic because we yeah. were their kind of record store. So that was so cool. But I did have like giant Q envy. Oh, yeah. The places in, uh, <laughs> in um, Melbourne. In Melbourne, yeah. In Sydney. And yeah. 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 That uh, Beat Discs one was nuts in Parramatta. Yeah. And then obviously our favorite store in Monte Albert. <laughs> um, they had a big queue, um, which, yeah. you know, will happen when you close for two or three days before. Oh, and like our mates up in the Gold Coast, Beatniks with Peking Duck, yeah. fucking killed it. So many oh. people waiting there, and man, that was so exciting. It was so cool to to hear and see. It'd be cool to catch up with them in the next couple of weeks and 
see yeah. how it was for them. Yeah, so I know they did the refer program that we did as well, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah. Actually, they, they'll go online soon too, yeah? Yeah, they're online now. Oh, see, Paul's all over it. Yeah. This is, he knows exactly what he's doing. That was done at 1 a.m. last night or something. <laughs> this is why the uh, one of seven coffees this morning. <laughs> yeah. Tally. And that's it. Like, I was still up at a reasonable time this morning. It was what was what I really enjoyed about Record Store Day was because it's meant to be, you know, getting people into indie record stores and like that being a thing. And it was, yeah, like a lot of people came and grabbed, you know, one of the, you know, three, four really big releases and that was it. But then a lot of those people also grabbed other stuff and grabbed a t shirt and a tote bag. Um, all the Bendigo vinyl merch, um, and like stubby holders, and there was people that came. Like uh, I remember she had a girl that came in, and she was in the line from like seven thirty or something. She grabbed Taylor Swift straight in, went home, and then she came back later in the day when it was quieter and had a bit more of a casual browse and picked up another couple of records. Yeah. Um. So like there was definitely people like actually getting in the spirit of things, which was um nice to see. Yeah, but there was a guy, yeah, he was waiting ages just to pick up a T-shirt, like not to grab a vinyl or anything. Yeah. He just waited to grab a T-shirt. It was awesome. And then we were at um, Handlebar that night. Yeah. And um, like one of our favorite locals, Colin, just like repping the Benigo vinyl T-shirt while he's playing drums. Yeah. And he'd been, there was like a wine festival on in town as well that day. And he'd yeah. been playing gigs there with his, his Bendigo vinyl t-shirt. Oh, so good. Rockin' record store day. But yeah, felt like proper embraced by the community. So a lot of our regulars were like, we don't want to have to drive down to Melbourne if we don't have to. We'd rather buy yeah. from you guys. Yeah. So if we can get it in. We'll definitely be here. Yeah. Yeah. It was just really hard to like yeah, we don't know what to expect, so it's hard to like manage other people's expectations. Eh? Yeah. We had no idea how many people were gonna no. be there at six thirty in the morning. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, people driving down from all over who must have had an early start. The people that driven like two hours and got there at seven. Yeah. It was there good were... fun. Yeah, it was good fun. Learnings for next year, if Taylor put something out. Whatever you think you should order, order twice as many. Yep. At least. Because um, her popularity knows no bounds whatsoever. And then, um, yeah, you never know what people will be into. So you might as well just get one of everything at least. Yeah. That, they're my learnings. Maybe provide an outdoor heater if it's in April and Bendigo again. <laughs> It was nice. It was a nice day. Yeah. Not that I saw at the window for the first three hours because <laughs> of it was because of all the people. Man, there's some footage I was going through, and like, there's me telling everybody that we sold out of Taylor, and I remember that moment. I was like, oh, that was not a fun thing. Nah. To do. Nah. I that's the I did not enjoy the first <laughs> thirty minutes. Um, cause that's all how long it took to sell out. Cause it was just, it, it was just anxiety. I'm seeing this limited stock deplete and people have been waiting and people were so keen and this is, I just didn't want to do it. And I knew like, it's going to happen at some point. Hey. Some people are going to be disappointed. Hey, oh, wait, when my cat comes in, he's quiet. There's a guy that, um, he was in early in the day on Saturday. And he came and he bought Elton John and that 50th anniversary Red Rose, which is like a half speed remaster from Abbey Road. It's really yeah. cool. And he bought those and then he went home and then he came back and he got sushi and the banshees. <laughs> He's like, I need to lock myself in the house. This is too <laughs> And then I guess we'll start. There's some late arriving stuff. I know that we had orders in for Porcupine Tree, a couple of other things. So hopefully that's, we know about those this week. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the only other one that like is really big that was hanging out there was 1975 self-titled with the orchestra, and that just got like proper cancelled for the whole country. Yeah. Which I'm not sucks. I'm assuming it's toured. available in the states, but yeah. Yeah. 
Um, um, that's the other thing. There's a few requests we had for like they were either UK or US exclusives. Yeah, I've just clicked so like Australia, like we get to sell things on the Monday online. I think they're a bit stricter in the UK and the US, so it might not be huh. for two weeks before we get any of the US stock, which I've just remembered. I hope somebody tells that one Albert store about not yeah. selling all their US exclusives before the Tuesday. Anyway, that store. We love them all. Uh, yep. This is uh, all staying in. Great. All staying in. Yeah. Unedited. Director's Unedited. cut. The other thing this week, right, that's a us problem, is that it's a public holiday tomorrow for the whole country. Yep. So any orders and stuff we get in, like, people are exhausted. I wonder how many people from the labels and stuff are just like, I'm just taking my day off. <laughs> it's Tuesday yeah. It's holiday. I'm curious. Surely that's a, like the day after record store days. Uh, nah, this you is can't have this that. is Boxing Day. Like you need to yeah. be, you need to be in because there's so much work to do. Like there was so much going on, and like so much uncertainty until a couple day of months before. Yeah. Um, which is just really hard. Yeah, even that kind of late initiative that we got in on. Yeah, Australian Music Hall and stuff, which, you know, like, I was like, oh, yeah, we can share some stuff to our stories during the day. But, you know, I didn't stop putting things in the till till one o'clock or something. Yeah, it just gets it gets washed with everything that was record store day. And then, like, people weren't aware of it. Yeah. Like, a couple of people came up to the counter like, what does this sticker mean? I'm like, it means you get that record for free. Yeah, they were like sweet. Yeah, which Sorry, was a good re- for, reaction. For, that was a good way for it to work. But yeah, yeah. So for um, people that we're talking, like, so if you're watching this on YouTube, there was an initiative late from Record Store Day Australia where they buy a couple of records off us, which they haven't done yet. Uh, um, yeah. And then we whack a sticker on them, and we can give them Aussie records, and then we can give them to, well, like if it, somebody comes to buy them at the counter, they're free for that, um, that customer. So there were, we, you know, we had five or so albums that went out like that, which yeah. was really exciting for the people at the counter. Because it was normally within like three or four things that they were buying. Yeah. And it was like just a lovely little surprise. But I think their intention with the scheme was that people would go to different stores and like hunt for those stickers. And like people just had no idea. Like they yeah. weren't aware of it existing. I think, yeah. If, yeah, if they do it with a bit more lead time next year, I think it would be a really worthwhile program. Yeah. Um, you don't want people like God oh, going, oh, I can go and steal some free records. But so like some form, like I know they were like going to be like dropping hints and things like that. Yeah. Um, I didn't eat. I didn't get the chance to watch any of their socials. So I yeah. don't know um, I what happened. Story, but, yeah, yeah. Really good idea. Um, and like, yeah, the people that picked up those records, which all went, obviously. Because um, they were good Aussie releases. Um, yeah. Yeah. They were stoked, which was, you know, the point. All right, I'm just going to. Add in a little bit extra for you, Sam. Yeah, it's please. The thoughts about Record Store Day, because it's it was amazing. Like it was cool, and like a bunch of people got a bunch of cool stuff. Um, and it did, you know, it, what like yeah, we basically sold out of all the Record Store Day stuff, but people were coming in and grabbing other things as well. Like yeah, the yeah. queues were for the Record Store Day stuff, but people did get around a little bit. Yeah. Um. So that was that was great, and it was you know like for like us as a business it was great timing as well like it's the right time of year to do it it was really good um but it's also just it's it's a bit chaotic in the lead up to it um and it's indie record stores like most of these are very small businesses yeah um like some of them are much bigger than us but you know it's still you know just a couple of guys working everything out themselves um and a lot of it does like you sort of oh we need these titles and it's not like you need you sort of need to have the titles because they've been made available yep um 
but you know it's it's not necessarily about that like it's about supporting your local record store yeah um and getting around in and around them so i wonder yeah like i feel like it could be better it's a nice idea but like it's a bit um yeah yeah, anyway that was not very eloquent but it's the monday after record store day so (laughs) it's a net gain but it's it has bumps yeah yeah in eyes parts of it that are that could be oiled and lubricated to run a little bit better yeah Especially here in Oz. Yeah. Because I yeah. think that's the other thing. Like, it's another backup for us that we are the absolute ass end of the vinyl industry in the world. Yeah. People don't give a flying fuck. Yeah. So it's like, yeah, whatever scraps are left over from America, the UK. Yeah. Those scraps of those scraps end up in Australia a lot of yeah. the time, unfortunately. And then it's expensive for a lot of Australian artists with smaller audiences than some of these big American acts and legacy acts like Pearl Jam and Paul McCartney and stuff. Like if they want to try and get something pressed by record store day, like they need to know so far in advance because they need to get into presses, which are over capacity. And if the presses are over capacity, they have to charge more to get things pressed. And then you end up with quite expensive records, which like it is what it is, but, it's it's not the ideal scenario because the way for Australia to get, you know, get its own thing going is to, you know, let's, you know, get more than a seven inch out because that's all we could manage to press or let's get more than, you know, let's get some cool stuff from cool Aussie artists. Yeah. I think, yeah, you're bang on. Mostly it was like, it's like the Polish club release. Super exciting. That's a New Year's Eve mix that they did and released on Spotify so for like 2020, like pre-COVID. Yeah, like, you know, and then they're like, oh, well, we've got this. We can get it pressed. And it's really, really cool. And one of my picks for the day. Yeah. But even the Confidence Man remix album has been out for nearly a year. Um, yeah. And that's it, like finally getting pressed. And like, so there's a lot of like finally pressed on vinyl. But like, yeah, we know the industry a little bit. And we know that they've probably been waiting in a queue for that to happen with record store day circled for yeah. six months. Um, yeah. What we don't seem to have in Australia, maybe this is the big market because there was a bunch of um like i really enjoy like a big part of what we do is about like new current artists currently doing music we look like i think that should be the main part of people collecting vinyl um however everywhere else in the world you get like all of our international titles apart from kind of taylor um were older acts that you know hadn't had something pressed on the final before or it was a live show or whereas your you know in excess um kick yeah. alternate version where's yeah, yeah. your you know whatever crowded house where's your other australian acts <laughs> yeah where's our special jet get born yeah uh, record store day with a black splatter disc or something yeah, yeah that's a good point um yeah that did go off man could you imagine vanessa amorossi's absolutely everybody on a seven inch with like with like a confidence man remix on the back like if that would fucking this, just go on instagram tag vanessa amorossi and say hey mix record store day <laughs> you need to do one of your hits both your hits yeah on a that that seemed really rude. I'm sorry, Vanessa. What one or two of your biggest hits on a seven inch for record store day next year, please? Yeah. Actually, send us the masters. We'll print we'll it do. for you. Bendigo Records. We'll get it printed for you. Has okay. to happen. Absolutely, everyone would buy that. <laughs> that would like, really literally be like the the Peking Duck thing. It's like a Darren Hayes remix of like yeah. a Savage Garden track. That that, that would really like, put a shine on record day, record store day next year. Yeah. My cats are fighting that. Wow. They're all fighting over that Vanessa Amorossi 7-inch. Yeah, they heard about it early. 
And they yeah. were like, can you put me down? And, and we're like, no, it's in store only. Yeah. Get in the queue, just like Sam's will... wife did for Bluey. Yeah. <laughs> She yep. did though. Yeah. To be fair, paid yeah. full retail. <laughs> yeah. No special treatment here. No. no. Gods of Record Store Day. Well, that's a wrap. All right. Sorry. Goodbye, Paul. All right. Thanks, Sam. Happy Record Store Day. Mm-hmm.